Hi and welcome back. I'm Caroline Best. This is Everything Horses and More. And this is Sundance. We're getting ready to show you how we bathe. All right, she's helping herself. As I mentioned, she is a schoolmaster. We've been doing this for years. She loves her bath. It's, it's our bonding time. I don't train horses to do this with me at Liberty and Free. It is a pro, it is an end result of the work that I do, my method. So if you want to learn how to do this stuff, learn my method. Because this is how I tack them up, how I groom them, everything. Now, all my horses have to get used to whatever selection I choose. I certainly don't want to use a full spray or a needly kind of spray like some of these nozzles have. I want something that feels good for them, but sometimes they're so dirty I have to do like a power wash on them, like Sundance. So I might use a harder spray or a combination, and they've got to get used to it. Now I'm not going to go through how I help horses, this is not a, tr a training video per se. This is just showing you guys how I bathe what I use. If the camera wants to pan in on the products down there. So here's the green fungal I was telling you about. Here's the povidine iodine. This is 5%. In Vetrolin Bath, this is a great hydrating shampoo. She has really dry skin in the wintertime and she hates to be brushed. And I will bathe her occasionally, but I'll condition her more than anything. So I'm gonna saturate her. She is gonna get completely wet and everywhere, you guys. All my horses do. Especially the faces, the groin area, everything. She loves this. The, whoops, it tickles. <laughs> I know, it's a little alarming. You think she's gonna kick you. That's what they all do it, all the mares do it. She's not the only one. Good girl, babe. Get you nice and clean. So that's a pretty hard spray because I really want to get in there. She's really dirty. Just with dirt more than anything. Not with bacteria or uh, rain rot. I'm going to get her belly too. Good girl, babe. Sometimes they'll groom you, they'll rub on you, they'll want to play, they'll paw. It's all play and they're happy. And when I have a couple of my horses in here together, they rub up all over each other. And that's very normal. They're happy. Uh, my horses are used to water. We used to have ponds, so they used to swim together and roll and lay down in the water together. And it's like water buffalo. I'm going to get her tail real good because I'm going to want to shampoo that and condition the mane and tail. And I'm going to work my way up to this pretty face. Come here, babe. And I'm going to go soft. Softer. But it's still kind of hard because she's so gritty. Especially the sweat behind the ears. Ooh, yeah. Good girl. And I always wipe the eyes, guys. Sorry, camera. I get everybody wet. I always wipe the eyes with my hands or a cloth because all the salt drips back into their eyes or the shampoo and it's irritating. So I'm always doing the eyeballs. She's super good. Not every horse is going to be this way. Sundance is one of the smartest horses I've ever known. All right. So once she gets it and it makes sense to her, She's, she'll help you. Okay, so I'm going to take the solution, oof, the shampoo, and I am going to pour it, you guys, right on her. I do not dilute this stuff. Don't dilute it. Depending on how dirty or infected your horse is and take a brush, I'm going to use a lot. And I'm going to gently rub this brush, not a sponge because you need to rub this into the hair follo follicles and get down and stimulate the skin. So if you don't, you're not gonna actually get in here and get down to where all the salt is. You need to open the skin up. 
Plus, this feels so good to her right now. I'm gonna come on this side. Remember, she wanted me to scratch her anyway. Rub on her, so see how lathery? Now, time yourself. You're gonna do, um, I wrote all this down, but I'm pretty fast and, and pretty thorough at the same time, so I'm gonna spend no more than five minutes on each side, and I'm gonna let it sit for a total of 10. And when I rinse the fungal shampoo off, I don't rinse it all off, you guys. If I need to reapply, I'm gonna pour on my brush to get under the belly. And because this isn't gonna burn her skin like the povidine solution, I'm really gonna get back here, you guys. Now watch, this is where she gets it so bad. You get scratches back here. Ooh, feels good, huh, babes? Now she likes me to brush her this hard. Some horses don't. I couldn't get this hard with Lovey. So you have to know your horse. This is a medium brush, it's not a soft brush. Know your horse. I would never go this hard with Love. For some reason, the mares are a lot more um, expressive with how you brush them. <laughs> like, is it too hard, too soft? Seems like most of my geldings just like you to use a hard brush, but the mares can get very particular. These are all her areas that she gets that, that dew poisoning and the fungus and the grime where she sweats. I'm gonna do one more because I need to get, come here, babe, back here on her tail. And if the camera wants to come, I'm gonna get right around her genitals because they sweat back here and they rub back here and they love this. She's got all sorts of scars. She came to me like that from the rescue. They were healed, so I assume it's barbed wire, and then she's torn back here, so she's always tinkling on herself, you guys. So I got it. We have to hose her down back here daily. So this is an area, you know, your horses rub their tails, and you're like, do they have worms? Sometimes it's just they're hot, and you need to clean this. Okay, we got that real good. We're going to get her face now. All right. I'm your bib. And I could just use my... Um, my hand if I want it. I'm going to go a lot softer, but she, she's grimy. So I'm going to go down. You get to see her blaze. She used to be a steel gray. Yes. And you get your lubbies. <laughs> get under the chin. A couple of my horses have been rubbing from their fly masks. So, come here, Beba. They've uh, got some Legend has some scabs here. You gotta get everywhere, you guys. Everywhere. So usually I'll do two horses at a time. So she'll be standing here for 10 minutes while I start the other horse. And then the other horse, uh, when I'm hosing her down for 10 minutes, they'll be standing there. All right. But since she's doesn't have fungus she's just filthy and her skin's irritated I'm just gonna hose her off now because she's good oh I need to do her tail let me get this real good good girl so I'm gonna condition her tail so I buy some nice fancy stuff for that like a nice smelly argon uh, shampoo and conditioner for horses this really I also use Orvis, you guys. It's a concentrated detergent for bathing and whitening. And Orvis is really the best. And you can get a big container of it for like under $20. It'll last forever. Um, so I do love my Orvis. So for those of you that are showing or performing, I've used to travel a lot as a clinician. So these guys needed to stay clean and look good. I would use the Orvis. Just go ahead and put the conditioner in on top of the fungal on her mane. Good girl. Oh, that feels so good. And there we go. Usually she gets a pocket of fungus right here. You guys see how that itches? Open that up. Do you see how waxy? 
Look at that in my thumb, my fingernail. So there's a perfect nasty spot of hair and wax and skin. So open that up. That's where she sweats. Good girl. Be gentle. But you gotta open it up. Oh, she feel good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, see the little bit of blood? Get that open. Get it in there. That's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> all right. Get it out of your fingernails too, you guys. Power, wash your own nails. Get that fungus out of your body, off your body. So I'm gonna use a hard spray just to get in and like power wash her. And she's used to it. There we go. You'll start seeing the, with this hard spray how white she is underneath. Come here. Good girl. So you guys can see that Sundance's skin is gray or black, not pink, which is excellent. That means she's not prone to cancer. If you have a, she's a little pink back here. If you have a pink, a white horse that's got pink skin, you better be careful. Now her muzzle will sunburn, so you gotta be careful. They can get cancer back here in their groin area, um, in, on their sheets, their faces, anything that's exposed. I'm sorry, babe. I know that tickles. I'm sorry. I know. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that dirt. I'm not going to spend forever getting rid of it. Just get the worst of it up. Yeah, the girls here, my staff have done a great job keeping these guys healthy. She looks great back here on her legs. And I'll cover the ears. You can see how my hands cover in the toes. There we go. Good girl. And mistakes happen, just say you're sorry. They'll forgive you. If you keep doing it, that's another thing. And then, of course, she's going to go roll. You guys know that. Sometimes I will, which I'm going to do, I'll lock her in the stall for an hour with the fan on. And then she won't roll. So I'm going to do that, actually. I'll put her in. She won't have any water or hay. She'll be fine. Leave her in there for an hour. You'll get wet too. <laughs> Good girl. All right. So each horse on average takes about 20 minutes, you guys, to do either the fungal or the povidine. Oh, come here. You just have to get get down, get the rhythm down. So come here, baby. I'll take care of that. Oh, I am wet now. Oh, da 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 da. Let me uh, scrape her. Come here. She's like, I'm. Re I know. I know this routine. I'm ready to go back in my stall. Hold on. And you don't want to put a wet horse, a dark horse, especially when they're wet back out in the sun, you guys, if you, if you can, because the sun just, it just bakes them. It just, in, it just heats them up when they're wet. It's really not good. So um, we have a lot of shade here. Doesn't mean that after I get done with a bath, Legend doesn't go out in the, my bay, go out and stand in the sun and graze. But he has a choice to get in the shade. Our old place, we didn't have a lot of trees, and we, I'd be like, you guys, let's get the fungals done in the morning so they have time to dry off in their stalls, and then they can go out. Because then they're going to sweat, right? And then you're going to have a, that problem all over again, too. Hold on, babes. I'm going to do your mane and tail. Like I said, I'll put her in her stall and 
lock her in there for an hour. Oh, that feels good. She loves this. This just feels so good. Oh, good girl. Yeah, she she loves to be pampered. Lovey does too, but you got to be real gentle with Lovey. You can't be rough like I am with Sundance. Um, same thing with Legend. Legend, my gelding likes it soft. The love and the and the grooming and the bathing and Smokey likes it rough. <laughs> Come on, babes. No, come on. Thank you. Come. Come here, sweetie. Come here, Sundance. Go on. Go. I got him. I got him. Go on. You gotta go out. Come. Come. Go. On. Out. Out. Go on. So I asked nicely, he's learning, and then I got stronger and stronger and stronger. He's obviously not afraid of it, the baby, but when I gently push and they're not listening and I get stronger and stronger and I'm using all the cues I always use, you know, the rhythm and the steady pressure, then I get stronger, 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 stronger. There's no intention. She's not worried about that either. Good girl, babe. All right, let her dry off. If I had shavings in there, she would roll. That'd be fine. Okay, so that's how I bathe and why I bathe. See you in the next episode. May you always be one with your horse.